This is my backyard and this is my bike trail. It's a bit different than most mountain bike trails, not only because you guys vote on what I build on it, but it's mainly different because I tend to add a little bit of an artsy flair to each feature. And this last one we did, I kind of went all out on. As far as I know, it's the only animal shaped mountain bike feature out in the world, but that's about to change because last time I had you guys vote on what you wanted me to build next on the trail and 65% of you voted for what I'm now going to call the turtle top jump. So in this video, we're going to be sculpting a giant clay turtle and then jumping it. But it has been over a month since I've seen the trail at all. So let's take a look at how it's holding up. The trail is overgrown. But honestly, it's the coolest thing ever. Um, yeah, let me just show you guys. <laughs> Really, really cool. Um, yeah. But anyway, I think we can kind of press on here. We'll clean up this spot and then we can start making our turtle back there. So today is cleanup day. But yeah, pretty interesting what time does to things. I like it. I think it looks, it really, it lends itself to the trail. Pretty cool. So yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> For this build, we're going to be spending a lot of time in the mud sculpting. So my main goal on the first day back was to just get everything cleared out so I had a blank canvas and to pile up a huge mound of dirt because we're going to need a bunch of it. And as you know, when it comes to moving dirt, I like to break out my skid steer so it doesn't take me a whole month to do. But as always, I'll donate $200 to Team Trees to offset the use of it and ask you guys to join me in donating too. Last time, tons of you joined me and in total have added an extra 150 trees, bringing our grand total to 950 so far. So freaking cool. And seriously, thank you to everyone who donated last time. I'm freaking excited, man. This is gonna be a huge turtle and a big jump. And yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Now before I just jump into sculpting the feature, I like to make a smaller clay model first so that my brain has something to reference to. This not only helps lower the workload so I'm not shoveling dirt into all the wrong places, but it also gives me an idea on how to even start the shaping process. And let me just be totally honest here, playing with clay out on my front porch with some music on and my dog is just kind of the best. <laughs> turtle <laughs> I'm absolutely so stoked on how that came out this is gonna be so much fun to make on grand scale you guys probably don't remember the lizard that I made with clay but uh, this is about a million times better so really stoked on that um, let's I guess take it over to the dirt pile and start making this guy what I'm doing today is just getting dirt to where it needs to be in order to shape this thing correctly. Cause right now, um, we just have a giant mound of dirt. <laughs> so lots of packing today, lots of moving dirt. We'll uh, see if we can get something going.
Okay, sounds like it's about to storm, so I got you guys under an umbrella. And if it starts pouring out here, I can start to smooth out this whole thing while that's happening. So, could work out in our favor. And then I can kind of direct the water as it flows through here, but we'll see what happens. Get the sponge out and just start scrubbing on it. But I'm hearing a lot of thunder, so it's a little sketchy. Whew. Wish me luck, I'll see what we can do. That's about it for me. I am over the rain and over the mud. Uh, it does look super crazy. We're getting a lot of pullage by it. But uh, yeah, pretty dang cool. All right, so we're out here after a couple days more of nonstop rain after our little uh, storm smoothing session. And yeah. He held up super well. Um, there's some poolage around the bottom part of him, but we'll just make some trenches and get that all fixed out. Not a big deal. Um, but other than that, all we have to do today is finish up his backside, which is like his back legs, his tail. And then I'd like to go through, since it's not gonna rain anymore, and kind of add some details to the shell and his head and the feet and throw in some claws and whatnot. Um, yeah, that's about it. Let's uh let's finish up the back side of this guy and add some details. Just like that, I had the turtle completely finished. All that was left to do was to shape up the area between the lizard lander and the turtle, and then we'd whip the trail because it was still overgrown. <laughs> Once that was all done though, we could finally ride this thing. So today is ride day, and uh, for this video, I have Jay from Roots MTV. Uh, he's gonna be our guinea pig. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Again, it's huge. <laughs> this looks like a backyard. The picture you sent me is not <laughs> <laughs> This took us a few times of riding this thing to feel comfortable, but it rides excellently. The only problem with it was it's sort of a step down, so you really can't see the landing, which always makes things a bit more sketchy. Oh, yeah. All right, so 
It turned out awesome. I'm super stoked with how it looks. Uh, it almost looks identical to what we made in the beginning with the clay. But uh, yeah, it's finally that time. Let's vote on what comes next. Instead of doing what I normally do though, where you have two options to choose from, I want you guys to come up with the ideas. So take a look at what comes after the turtle. It's pretty sloped and we've got a decent amount of speed. If you've got an idea for what should happen, go over to my website here or wherever the link is and submit your idea. Also, bonus points for anybody who draws out their idea. Um, that's just gonna help me visualize it better and you're probably more likely to win. But yeah, I'll sift through all of those, choose a winner, and that's what we'll build next time on the trail. Also, I've got these shirts available on my website. They're brand new, eco-friendly, made out of like recycled plastic bottles and scrap wood and organic cotton. They're super soft, super nice. Uh, if you don't mind, if you wanna support the channel, Go snag one of these guys up or any of the other shirts on my website that would help me a lot or you can go to patreon and check that out and maybe consider supporting there but anyway thank you so much for watching and uh yeah i look forward to seeing your guys' ideas and i'll see you next time bye